What's up, guys? Today we are going to talk about the supposedly leaked and rumored Uncharted 5 or Uncharted reboot or whatever you want to call it. So, uh, me and Chris are massive Uncharted fans, as we've said in the past. Uh, if you followed us long enough, you know. And we're just going to speculate on what it could be, like what you know, the tone of it, what prequel, sequel, like all that stuff. So yeah. And I'm, that's what actually what I'm going to start with. How would you feel if it was completely in a different, like, like it wasn't any of the existing characters, like it was completely new in every way? Uh, like, how would you feel I, about that? I don't think it would be Uncharted then, honestly. Even if it had similar themes and everything? Yeah, because look, you have stuff like Tomb Raider, yeah. you know, even like movie tying games like Indiana Jones. I mean, there, you you would just have an adventure game at, the, at that point, essentially. Like a treasure hunter game, pretty much. Yeah. So, why would you make it Uncharted and have, have it have ties to Uncharted if it, you know, was a completely different game? Then you could kind of just call it whatever you want. That's kind of true. I and mean, yeah, I don't know. people would be excited saying, oh, this is a new Uncharted game. So, they're going to be excited expecting something that is uncharted and if there's no characters or nothing that ties it to that then like you're just gonna make the fan base angry because it's not it's not uncharted at that point yeah i guess that could be argued that if there's nothing no characters or anything <laughs> from uncharted then it's not really uncharted i'll ask you another question though what if it wasn't what if nathan drake was not in it uh well, I mean, I should say, what if Nathan Drake is not the protagonist? How would you feel about that? I think that'd be fine. I mean, young Sully could have his own game, and maybe you could even have levels where you're teaching Nathan Drake some of the stuff. Or it could be Sully before he uh, met Drake. I mean, he did work with Marlowe, so essentially he worked with the Golden Dawn and a bunch of secret societies. Yeah. So clearly, he probably had some pretty crazy stories that could be told. Yeah, there's probably a lot of stories of his that hasn't been told through Uncharted because he's obviously not the protagonist. Uh, you could also how do... much did they really flesh out Sully's character? I would say not that much. Like you know, I think minimal yeah, that's about true. Him. I mean, he's a good character and and all, but we don't know that much about him really. So. But also, I was thinking, uh, if I would you played like to see Cutter too. Yeah, Maybe that have a, I would. I would like that. Game. If Cutter was like, see what he got up to, that that would be cool. And if you've played Uncharted Four, you'll know that uh, it, it, they could do like Sam and Sully doing something, because they weren't really like out of the game, completely. <laughs> At least Sam wasn't. Sam was like. He was kind of like, I'm down to keep doing this. Yeah, I mean, I probably wouldn't like a game uh, focused on Sam. Just because, I mean, Uncharted 4 was really good thematically and yeah. story-wise and the way that it was laid out. But, you know, Cutter, obviously he was only in 3, but he played like a... He, he took over the show when he was in it. Obviously, Sully has been in it since Uncharted 1. Yeah. So, you know, like, I just think, it, I, I'm pers I mean, that's just, you know, comes down to personal opinion. I would not, uh, I, I don't really resonate with Sam as much as, like, uh, yeah, so I don't, I, know they kind I don't of think anyone know. really does. He's also, like, a fairly new character, because he's only in 4, so. Yeah, which is kind of what I was alluding to. But then and, again. Mean, he, We've already had kind of like the tie-in games with like Chloe and Nadine, and yeah. I think Chloe had one where it was just her, right? That was a PS Vita game. Does that sound? No, right? no. The only game where you played as Chloe was uh, What's Lost with Legacy Nadine? with Nadine. The PS Vita game was uh, Golden Abyss, which honestly I could not tell you what happened in that game because I didn't play it. I didn't have a PS Vita, so. Yeah, I didn't have a PSV to either, so I but never played that. I also wanted to say, like, 
at the end of Uncharted Four, it shows his his daughter. His daughter, uh, yeah. And I don't, on the beach and all that. Yeah, and I was torn on if she should be the protagonist because there's no way Nathan Drake would let her go down the same path as he did. Like that, I don't see that happening. Him letting that happen. <laughs> So I don't think that would be well, she would be a worthy I think it would be a it's Nathan Drake's daughter so you think he's you think that she's going to listen you know I Yeah mean, that's kind of true <laughs> Honestly that's kind of why I love uncharted franchise so much honestly is just because he's not really a uh, a good guy and he never claims to be really yeah. I mean he kind of just like his profession is literally I mean throughout the games all he does is murder Actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, if, if we're being honest, I mean that's like his kill count has to be up, in the up thousands. There. Like, yeah, it has to be <laughs> up there. And I mean, it is mainly in self. It's pretty much always in self defense. So you could argue, you know, it's yeah. almost <laughs> always in self defense. Or, but even the places that he's at, I mean, he's there to steal the stuff and get money for it. You know. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't necessarily want to hurt anyone <laughs> but he just ends up doing it because yeah honestly, people have similar he's ideas probably the best gaming protagonist of all time i can't think of another yeah. more charismatic uh, he's a very good protagonist one of the best yeah. i'd say i mean obviously i'm biased because that is my favorite franchise by far i mean it's not even really close there's nothing that comes close to uncharted to me so not having Drake would definitely be, you know, kind of weird and hard to sit through. But if it was someone yeah. like Sully or Cutter where I'm like, I want to know more about them, I think that could really work. You know, like a young, like I said, a younger Sully, something like that. That sounds like a game that I'd play the hell yeah. out of. I don't, I don't know, because like, is it, I feel like it's almost not Uncharted without Drake. But they can't make Drake go on another adventure. Like they're just not gonna do that. His story's over. He's got a, he's got his company with Elena at the end of four, and <laughs> and all of that. He's not doing another one of those. Outings. I think you could have him in it, but he can't be the main protagonist. Yeah, he could just I agree. Be, you get three or four chapters playing as him helping someone. Uh, yeah, I think that would be fair. If uh, I mean, if he was a supporting be... character. Like him is a late teenager, early twenties, and helping Sully when Sully is still basically teaching him, showing him the ropes. And then you know you have him kind of how Sully is a support character, and Sully you know will help you through some levels and you know be side by side with you. You just have Drake basically take Sully's role, and Sully take yeah you know Drake's role. Yeah, so and I mean it could maybe, definitely go on with maybe during Drake. puzzle levels. You have Drake because Drake is like the uh, historian, uh, you know, look at the clues and be able to tell you. And I don't know. I mean, clearly they had been doing jobs and clearly they uh, had probably seen crazy stuff before the, uh, the contest of Uncharted 1 happened. I mean, they had been doing it for a long time. So I'm sure they probably ran into crazy stuff because... He handled it with poise, with having basically deformed uh, yeah. Nazis facing <laughs> yeah. him, and he handled it like it, like it was another day at the office. Like he wasn't like freaking out. So clearly, he had uh, been in scenarios similar. It's yeah, how I, I don't know. Like took that, you know. I don't know. I mean, I would like them to flush, uh, really uh, flesh out kind of maybe his uh beginnings because they do they do that every single game where they have like in three you know you have the the chapter where you're him in the museum in uh like central america south america then you have uh you have him at the orphanage in uncharted 4 so you know you get to see yeah. him like younger and uh you know i don't know i think it's i think it's pretty cool i think it's a good idea i mean if you look at if we even like tied into the movie which i don't know did we ever uh release our movie review or did that get uh lost? that got deleted with my computer <laughs> so we, long story 
we watched the movie and did a review, and unfortunately, we lost that recording. But uh, the movie had Tom Holland as Drake, which horrible casting call. Yeah, but easily. like he was so young that maybe that's kind of a thing where they could do that because like that was the first iteration where Drake wasn't like in his mid thirties or like in yeah. his thirties. Like in, in yeah. Uncharted One, I would have to check at what age he is. But he was he still to be, he wasn't that young even in one. Yeah, he'd have to be like late twenties. Late twenties, early thirties. Yeah. And then obviously, it seems like he might be early forties. Yeah. Four maybe. I mean, he's not that old because he's not terribly old. He's not as old as like Sully, <laughs> but yeah, he was probably kind of old. 30s because you know, then he had a kid with Elena, so and she was still able to have a kid. Yeah. So they were probably in their th- late thirties, but I don't know. I think that's probably the only way they can do it is have uh, a character that we already know and love kind of take the reins and just like either uh, flesh out the backstories or you know I don't really know how anything else that they could do that would work I don't know I mean if they had no ties to the previous games that really is an uphill battle but I think it's gonna be like pretty sure it's like a soft reboot rumored to be a soft reboot so when I see when I hear a reboot, I think like like maybe, not maybe a lot they of similarities. Just redo the story and they have Drake do in a different adventure and it's kind of completely separate from the universe that we know. That and they kind of redo that could his character. Work, maybe maybe that would be good because then you still have Nathan Drake, but he's just in a separate like timeline <laughs> essentially. Yeah, and you know, I mean, I think they would. I have would be to fine with Nolan that. I North. think. I, I think it would depend on a lot of stuff. Like, you have to have Nolan North involved. Yes, definitely. Anything less than that. Uh, I think that would be my only prerequisite, is that it has to have Drake in it, and it has to have Nolan North voicing him. Any other decision that they make, you know, I'm sure the fact that they are going out of their way to take it over from Naughty Dog means they probably love Uncharted as much as we do. Yeah, so for those who don't know, uh, this is not being made by Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog <laughs> is supporting the project, though, in the beginning. So it's, it's This is all rumors and leaks, so none of this is confirmed, but that's pretty much like what we're hearing, is Naughty Dog is not making it, So, which I think sounds fine and realistic. Yeah, no, that's probably for the best, because I agree. Naughty Dog is kind of left the reputation down the toilet for no yeah. Good reason. Yeah, no apparent reason. <laughs> but that's a whole different story. I mean, uh, The Last of Us 2, I think we'll agree, it was, n- it was nothing short of a dumpster fire. Yeah, pretty much. I and mean, people swear by it, but... <laughs> ruined the legacy of Naughty Dog. And the fact that they... I mean, they put a lot of care into the story of Uncharted 4... Uh, but you could tell that they were like, we don't care about the multiplayer. We don't care about yeah. the stuff that was working well. Like, the, you could tell that they kind of gave up cer- a certain aspect. And they're like, we're going to make this a really good story. And this is going to be the end of it. Like, yeah, that's kind of the vibe just, that I got. I think they just wanted to be done with Uncharted. I think that shows a little bit. And, like, what would you... How would you feel if it had, like, a darker tone? Because the... And but by I, you know Uncharted 4 was already darker than the other games. It was going in that direction. If the if they made like a dark Uncharted, like not, maybe not as dark as say The Last of Us, but like darker than the other games. <laughs> I I don't know how to feel about that because um I think it would I think it would work, but you'd still have to play to Nathan Drake's charm. I mean, yeah, I don't see any reason why he couldn't be uh you know take a serious role but like it's kind of like uh his coping mechanism is comedy you know yeah so and he can still have that in a darker game so i think that actually would work is just would it still be uncharted if it was so dark because uncharted's kind of 
I wouldn't say lighthearted, I, but I wouldn't say it's all that lighthearted. I mean, if we look at the the synopsis of the first four games, first one is a cursed idol in Nazi uh, that were deformed and turned into monsters, basically chasing you around and you know just bloodshed everywhere. Two, you literally have basically uh, a guy trying to go in and destroy like the tree of life and just you know I mean that was pretty dark that was pretty dark Lazarevich was a pretty dark character yeah he was and then three you know you literally have them trying to take a bioweapon essentially and you know give it to the masses or you know give it to the highest bidder yeah and, I mean that that's pretty crazy and the fact that like I don't know you have the spiders and you're constantly in uh dark settings you know with uh you know the occult everywhere pretty much i mean i had so many famous occultists in it to flesh out the story and the entire thing was uh you know based off of an actual society that exists that has produced some of the most famous occultists in the world like alistair crowley bram stoker you know some pretty famous occultists Obviously, John D. started it. You know, I mean, the Golden Dawn is, like, a pretty famous occult club. And, and, you know, like, some of the people that are connected to that, people are not big fans of. So, I mean, I wouldn't say it was necessarily light, lighthearted. It was just the no, way No, I wouldn't call it lighthearted. I think it was just, I think, it, I don't know. It to wasn't it that dark, dark, though. It wasn't. It, it wasn't portrayed as in a dark way, but conceptually, yeah, it is a pretty, they're all pretty dark, but they're portrayed in a somewhat lighthearted way. Yeah, and I think that is because of Drake's personality in the way that they yeah, use that. Yeah, that's definitely part of it. But, I mean, I don't know. I think they could still have him play, like, play scenes off like that. And it's, it'd be yeah. really dark. You just have to... Yeah, they could do that. You probably would just have to kill off lovable characters because there would have to be some, like... There would have to be meaning behind yeah. some of the deaths and some of the important things. So, I don't know. I guess you would, you'd probably have to introduce new characters. And Well, yeah, introduce... they would definitely introduce new characters. If it's going to be a soft reboot. Well, I mean, I guess they don't have to, but they probably would. They, they can't... They can... I mean, they can only rely on the older games so much if it's a reboot, right? Yeah, I mean, I guess it depends on what direction they take. Because if they continue with the story and say you follow Sam or it's Drake and then it's something, another thing with Sam and then Sam finally dies, you know, maybe something like that. But even that, I don't really know how well you'd be able to play that off or anything. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. I mean,. I'm open to anything they try and do because I want another Uncharted game. Yeah, but, I definitely do, and not from Naughty Dog. So, <laughs> I, this is honestly the the news that I wanted to hear the most: uh, an Uncharted game, not by Naughty yeah, Dog. As long as it is nothing like the movie, I think we'll be all right. Oh you my know, God! What if it was like a so reenactment of the movie? <laughs> I. I would cry. I wouldn't, be a, I wouldn't be an Uncharted fan anymore. <laughs> that would At be least, horrible. I would. I'd probably boycott it and say, you know what? Yeah. You can't. You can't ruin a franchise like that. That's just not right. Yeah, like please don't do that. Yeah, I mean they. Uh, what is the guy from Firefly? Do you know? The, so the actor from Firefly made a fan-made. Uh, movie that like he starred in it was like a little short and it was maybe like 20 minutes and yeah, just that the uncharted minutes, one or yeah uh, oh I'll yeah send it to you. i think but i remember it, it it was uh so well done the fact that yeah it was for nolan north i know nolan north made like a short little appearance in uh the uncharted movie but the fact the fact that the guy from firefly just he screams nathan drake looks like him yeah, he has the charisma of him, and then they just pick Tom Holland for seemingly no reason. And Tom Holland, let's be honest, he's 
kind of he's barely even spider-man like he's not yeah he doesn't have the charisma he seems like a kid like yeah he's, he's not suave or like and the fact that there was like no gunplay in it and pretty much the entirety of uncharted yeah is that was like gunplay. what what is that i don't know and, why uh, they and went they didn't that. show any of that at all and and they even stole some some of the big set pieces from the game and honestly butchered it yeah they did <laughs> I'd, I'd give that movie a solid four out of ten yeah That's being generous. it was it was i was expecting it to be worse even then but <laughs> it was still nowhere near good <laughs> yeah i would I mean, say i thought it was gonna be worse than it ended up being but it was still really bad yeah it was especially in comparison to the games yeah and uh yeah i don't know who thought tom holland being the uh playing nathan drake was a good idea but they should get punched in the in the gonads for the rest <laughs> of their day because that was egregious that they did that that was just yeah it was literally know. just because he's a he's the like He's you the know, Hollywood kid right now. Yeah, he right yeah, now he they, is. Yeah, they did that because of the hype of Spider Man and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. When you have a franchise, I didn't see, uh, like I didn't go out and search to see what Uncharted fans were saying about the movie, but I'm sure most Uncharted fans were probably very unhappy. Oh yeah, for a fact. So hopefully, they stay far away from redesigning stuff that does not need to be redesigned. Drake, yeah, like in, how uh, he looks, uh, who plays him and portrays him, you know, his mannerisms. Yeah. If, he, if it's going to be Drake, so well it needs to be... Yeah, that it needs matter. to be Nolan North. Like, it Yeah, Yeah, it I must. mean, they, they, they don't have to reinvent the wheel. They have really good yeah. source material. Exactly, yeah. So, just take take it and put your own spin on it. Or, you know, go deeper into the lore of and flesh out some different characters. Yeah, right. But, you know, that's all that we can really hope for. Yeah, so I don't know when we can expect to see an announcement for this. Because, I mean, it sounds, from the leaks, it sounds like it's pretty, uh, like, <laughs> early on. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's interesting. It's definitely an interesting concept and, uh, I'm excited for it. The fact that yeah, I am too. They're bringing back something. I was pretty disappointed that they stopped it and that Naughty Dog said we're done with Uncharted. And I know it's like everything has to come to an end, but you know, a series that's that good, it's like you never want it to come to an end. Yeah, right. But that I mean, I'm sure that a lot of that is nostalgia and you know, just loving the the franchise. Yeah, the for sure. Much. Yeah, well, supposedly it's coming back. So, and if it's coming back and it's successful, then it'll probably, without a doubt, keep going. They will make another one if it's successful in its comeback and its reboot. If it's not successful, on the other hand, uh, Uncharted is probably dead. <laughs> in all reality. Yeah, it's, you know, if they can't do it, obviously Naughty Dog, if it was up to Naughty Dog, they're not they wouldn't make another one anyway so this is kind of just like icing on the cake let's hope that they don't mess it up too bad yeah and then if they do it good maybe we get another two three games out of it yeah that's best case scenario i i hope i mean uncharted's always sold well so i think it will sell well even if the game's not good <laughs> i think it'll probably sell well and anyway it would be and nice make to another. introduce it into because let's be honest look when was uh when was four? 2016, I think. Yeah, that sounds about right. So look how many years. That's about what? So that's a while ago now. <laughs> I mean, that's what six years, five years. Yeah, something like that. So think about all the kids that are playing video games now that probably have never played Uncharted. So you oh know, yeah, you're for sure. To an ent- you're getting to show an entire new uh, generation nathan drake's exploits potentially and being introduced to him by the movie is just 
honestly, it hurts my stomach yeah, and my soul. Yeah, that, that hurts me that to think about. <laughs> that some of these people have gotten of Uncharted. Yeah, some movies. I and hate Tom that. Tom Holland <laughs> playing Nathan Drake. So, you know, this gives us a chance to introduce it to other people. Yeah, and, right, uh, it does. And then people will probably, if this next game is good, they'll probably go back and play the other ones. It's kind of how it works. Yeah, and I mean, they've, I don't know, do they have everything remastered to where you can play it on new gen? Yeah, I believe so. <laughs> if you haven't played the Uncharted games, play them. All yes, them please. Even Very good games. Is really good. And I mean, that was choppy, and you know, they were still figuring stuff out, but I would still say objectively it's the worst one but what do you expect it's the first game in the franchise and it's yeah. still damn good yeah it's still very good i I'd, I'd agree it's probably probably the least good one but it's still very good very good game they're all good every single one of them so and let's just let's really hope that they don't mess it up yeah i that's all i can we can hope for but yeah uh tell us what you guys think um if you agree, disagree with any of this, uh, and we will see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.